What's your favorite way to celebrate Christmas? Maybe you love to look at all the lights. Or oh, make all the cookies. Maybe a Christmas dance party is your jam, complete with a festive outfit. Or maybe you cannot wait to celebrate by tearing into those gifts under the tree. I mean, it's super fun to open presents. But don't forget the best gift ever, the one that doesn't fit inside a box. God knew we needed rescue, so God sent Jesus. Christmas is when we remember the gift of God's very own son. And one of the best ways to celebrate is by giving to others like God has given to us. So this year, along with the lights and cookies and music, try sharing a kind word and a listening ear. Hey, you seem a little down. I'm here if you need to talk. Try giving a gift that someone truly needs. Try lending a helping hand. I can put these away. When you choose to celebrate Jesus by giving to others, they can see God at work. That's why Christmas is an amazing time to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Glory, Gloria, Glory, Gloria, Glory, Gloria, and it shall she stay on. Glory, Gloria, Glory, Gloria, Glory, Gloria, and it shall she stay on. Yeah. My God, you reign, you came, and you say, Yeah, so great, you deserve all the praise. Yeah, we lift up your holy name. Lord, we praise your name. We celebrate. We lift your name. We join the angels, cause we know one thing. That Lord, you came and made a way. You came down to save, so we sing. Glory, Gloria. Glory, Gloria. Glory, Gloria. And it shall she stay, y'all. Glory, Gloria. Glory, Gloria. Glory, Gloria, and it shall she stay up. As the angels singing holy, you get the glory. You placed the stars, then came down so you could know me. So we bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh Jesus, you deserve it all. We celebrate, we lift your name. So we sing Glory, Gloria Glory, Gloria Glory, Gloria And it shall she stay on Glory, Gloria Glory, Gloria Glory, Gloria And it shall she stay on Join the angels Singing praise and Holy, holy Holy, holy Join the angels Singing praise and Holy, 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 holy Join the angels Singing praise and Holy, 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 holy Join the angels Singing praise and Holy, 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 holy Glory, Gloria Glory, Gloria Glory, Gloria In it shall she stay on Glory, Gloria Glory, Gloria, Glory, Gloria, and it shall she stay on. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh, or the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all, all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, <laughs> jingle bells, jingle all the way. 
Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was great! Yeah! <laughs> now let's do the 12 days of Christmas. Okay. On first of Chris, my love to. You know, we, we did this bit of the cold open. Oh. oh, yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And welcome to the So and So Show. December edition. Yes, if you couldn't tell from all the festivities surrounding us. <laughs> it's the Christmas season. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! Good tidings we bring to you and your friends! Oh. What was that? I, I think the lyric is, good tidings we bring to you and your kin. Really? Yeah? Who knew? <laughs> uh, me. Yeah, 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 but you could say friends. Well, you could say friends, it would just be wrong. What does kin even mean? Uh, well, you know, kin is like your family, your relatives. Then friends totally works. Friends and family, I mean, you would want to bring glad tidings to your friends too. It, it's good tidings. Yeah, 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 glad, good. What's the difference? Well, one is the correct lyric and one is not. Okay, so you think you're some kind of Christmas carol lyric expert. Hmm? Well, maybe not an expert, but I, I'm pretty good. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah! Prove it! So, I love Christmas carols. Yeah, but I know Christmas carols. <laughs> nah, well, we'll see about that. Because we're going to play a game called Finish That Carol. The first few lines of a Christmas carol we'll play, and when it stops, one of us must buzz in to finish the missing lyric. You ready? Absolutely. Okay, all right, all right. Here's the first song. Oh, little town of Bethlehem, how still we see the light. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep It was a silent night <laughs> The silent stars go by <laughs> Yeah, nice try, buddy. <laughs> Wait, what? What, the silent stars go by? Where are they going? Stars don't go places. I don't know, maybe they were shooting stars. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, I'm right. Okay, next song. Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing o'er the plains And the mountains in reply Watch out for those aeroplanes <laughs> Echoing their joyous strains Watch out for those aeroplanes? I, listen, I just saw if there were angels flying near the mountains, they might, you know, want to keep their head on a swivel, you know. Who says aeroplanes? I, I, I don't know, forget it. Next song! What child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping? Whom angels greet with anthems sweet. They sound like birdies cheeping. Cheep. Cheep, cheep. While shepherds watch our keeping. Really? Wow, that's impressive, friend. That's impressive. How many Christmas carols do you actually know? All of them. Oh, well, how many are there? A lot, my friend, a lot. Why are there so many? Hmm. That's a question I think only one person can answer. Uh -huh. Well then, it's Bible story time with Kellen.
Hey, Kellen, how's it going? Just getting into the Christmas spirit. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, we, we have a question for you. What's that? Why are there so many different Christmas carols? I mean, why not? There's so many great things about Christmas. Friends, family, getting together to celebrate, and the food. True. But most importantly, the Christmas story. There's so many things to talk and to sing about when you learn about Jesus' birth. In fact, this month, we'll be learning a bunch of different parts of the story. From the angels appearing to the shepherds, to the wise men, to Jesus being born. Oh, I guess there is a lot to the story. Are we learning about Jesus being born today? Sort of. We're actually going to go back a bit. How far? To the very beginning. Ooh. Well, take it away. Okay, even though we're starting at the beginning, our story actually comes from the book of John in the New Testament. John was written by one of Jesus' friends and followers, and a lot of what he wrote is very poetic. That's especially true of the verses we're looking at today. John began his book this way. In the beginning, the Word was already there. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. Whew, whoa! That's not very easy to understand by itself. But maybe John was only showing us a little bit at a time. Maybe it will help if we saw the bigger picture. Let's start that again. In the beginning, the Word was already there. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. John tells us that the Word has always been there, that He was with God in the very beginning. But let's keep going and see what else John has to say about this mysterious Word. All things were made through Him. Nothing that has been made was made without Him. Life was in Him, and that life was the light for all people. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not overcome the light. Many times throughout the Bible, God and Jesus are referred to as light in the darkness. Now, God isn't the sun, God isn't the moon or the stars, but God does bring light into darkness. If things look hopeless, God can give us hope. If it feels like we can't see our way out of a situation, God can show us the way. God can light our path in lots of different ways. So John goes on, the Word became a human being. He made his home with us. We have seen his glory. It is the glory of the one and only who came from the Father. And the Word was full of grace and truth. The Word that John wrote about here is Jesus. Jesus is the Word of God. John felt like it was important for us to know that Jesus has always been a part of God's plan, ever since the very beginning. God became a human in the form of Jesus to shine light into the darkness for all to be able to see. And that is some good news. And we'll be hearing about that good news all month long as we learn more about the Christmas story. Whoa. Double whoa. Okay, whoa, whoa. I know, God had a plan. From the very beginning. <laughs> yeah, God's so good like that. And it's important to be reminded when we feel like we're stuck in the darkness, there's always hope. God loves us so much. That's why God sent Jesus to be the light of the world. And that's great, Kellen. Hey, thanks again. Yeah, no doubt. I'll see you guys next time. What a great way to kick off the month. Yeah, right. I mean, after all, Jesus is the most important part of the Christmas story. Yeah, and, and Jesus is the most important part of our stories, too. Oh, yeah, he sure is. In fact, reveal the question. <laughs> Why is Jesus important to you? Hmm. How would you answer that, John? Well, oh, well, he's given me a great example of how to live. Yeah, and I always know I can talk to Jesus whenever I want, when I'm happy or when I'm sad. And, okay, this is the big one. Because of Jesus, 
we get to have a relationship with God that can last forever. Yeah, <laughs> boom. Well, but I'm sure you all have some answers too. So talk about it with each other. Why is Jesus important to you? And during all the craziness. All the Christmas <laughs> carols, all the presents and parties. Remember why Jesus is important to you and keep that in the front of your mind all Christmas long. Yeah, I think that's all the time we have today, yep. but we'll be back soon and we hope to see you here on <laughs> The So and So Show. Bob gave to me. <laughs> Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Later on, we'll perspire. We three kings of porridge and tar. The snow in a Away in a manger, no bid for his God rest ye merry gentlemen, stop stuffing me with hay. Don't follow that yellow brick road, I will come that way. And you'll get me a brain in your heart. Maybe some courage. <laughs>